Hello, how you going? Welcome to Dan Poets. Uh, I'm Steve, I'll be your MC for the beginning of the afternoon, and Anne's going to do some MC, and Libby's going to do some MC. Oh, it's very exciting here at Dan Poets. We are 20 years old. We're going to kick off with the open mic. We're going to welcome her now, one of the conveners of Dan Poets. Would you please welcome the effervescent Lily Big Chalison? We have strong hopes about Libya, right? Uh, we have. Alright, good. Uh, <laughs> strong hopes, that's great. Okay, I have those two. Um, I just wanted to mention before I read to um, Steve, the first, anyone that's reading for the first time on the open mic um, gets a, fir, a free drink for their uh, troubles. So if, uh, if you're a first time reader, Please talk to Steve and he'll make sure that that happens. Um, the other thing that I want to say too is about the competition that's coming up. You've got to register on the 17th of May. The competition will be on the 31st of May. We have two cash prizes of $550 each. Two cash prizes so everyone get writing and try and win the money. <laughs> okay. It's half light and I'm under the jacaranda tree looking up into green lace leaves switch, stitched to twisted black bark. Soft rain falls through the green lace and blue mauve flowers snow down. In the distance thunder breaks through grey marble skies and I sip my cocktail as messages fall from the heart of the tree. Forget me not, forget me not. He wants to break your thread, shred your twisted black wood, throw your lace into a wood chipper, not even your stump will escape execution. He says, you're not a significant tree. Thank you. Oh look, I missed the second on the board. We better get her up now. There's a very rare chance to see Raphael the Torreson on this side of the microphone. He's an amazing artist, but it's very rare to have her on stage reading a poem. I does not mind the idea of you all yelling exterminate. Um, so as she comes up on stage, would you all please, on the count of three, one, two, three. Jeffrey Lehman, and he recently published an anthology. He's an older poet, um, the anthology of Australian poets, and he publishes in Quantlet. The poet's called The Animals. A domesticated bearded dragon, $400. Is not my idea of an animal companion. A carcass sleep, no double bed, perhaps or a hare with long ears crouch under a mahogany sample thumping the floor, or a koala that climbed up the four-post bed surprising a 17-year-old in her nighty. They were here before us, the animals, and we were once them. Without understanding, we watched the sunrise and the coming of night registered the changing of seasons and dew on leaves that brushed our flanks. We, the animals, knew feelings, had memory, exchanged sounds and visual cues, but did not know what came before or ask what was to come. A neighbor sleeps with the wombat in her bed and her husband sleeps on the veranda. 
kangaroos watch TV through her sitting room window. Bottle fed joeys get osteoporosis if the composition of milk isn't flushed. The females make better companions. With shy brown eyes, they pop along beside you as you collect mail from the gate at dusk. We were once them, and now are their custodians. They know we are different, and their eyes tell us to keep our promise. Bill came home after a fortnight away. Potted plants had been kicked off the veranda, and there was an awful smell, and the front door was ajar. Inside the house, chairs were overturned, papers and cushions trampled on floors, and in the bathroom, wedged against the wash basin, her putrid flesh, held together by a hive, twinkled a pony. A tractor winched the body out. Jack Lehman is a fantastic poet.